the start of the pandemic. Yeah. 2020, it, it was not a great year for a lot of people, but it was a phenomenal year for CJ. Yeah. That's it. I think I put it out the week after. And that shit, that history ever since. Yo, see, that's something that a lot of people don't understand. Like, when you got a hit record, it it, it don't take long. Yeah. A hit record talk back to you. Yeah. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to So Official TV, where we try to give you some of the most fire content in these YouTube streets. Today we back with the story of another industry plant. Y'all might not remember him cause he ain't had a hit in a minute ha ha ha. So today we gonna be talking about your man's fresh out of Staten Island, Long Island, Fantasy Island shit I don't even know where this boy from. Only people we respect from Shaolin is the Wu-Tang Clan. Ya heard me anyways we finna talk about your man's CJ, and how he's a lot like your boy Lil Mabu. Another dude that was releasing melted butter wet toilet tissue softer than a Popeye's biscuit straight out the oven music. My mans went baby drizzy on a lot of the stuff he released early on, which ironically has been deleted from his YouTube channel in favor of the more refined drilling gangster CJ. Anyways let's get into this story, and how this dude took a terminology associated with real gangsters, had a Billboard Global Top 10 hit, got two hot remixes of his song Whoopty and eventually fell off the map. Is CJ an industry plant? Let's explore the subject. You got a hit record. It, it, it don't take long. Okay. Fish him outside it's a movie. Damn y'all remember that song, by CJ? This song was allegedly self-released by this artist on July 30th, 2020 and became one one of the most prolific drill songs in NYC and the world. Ironically this song was re-released by Warner Records after he signed to the label, Damn. But we will get to the what's and why's of that in a minute. Originally this song was labeled as a remix of the King Vaughn and Memo 600 song Exposing Me. I don't have an exact release date of that song but everyone heard the same sample on the song that Vaughn and Memo released. It contains a sample from the popular Indian song Sanam Ri which was released in 2015. CJ had so much clout and people behind him that he was able to monetize Whoopty because of its popularity at the time, and once you monetize anything, you own it. As of the date of this video CJ's Whoopty is sitting at a whopping 432 million views on YouTube, which is likely a huge payday seeing that he owns the rights to the beats. On estimate this video has made him between 600-800k in revenue, that's a whole lot of paper y'all life-changing money if you know what to do with your new revenue stream as a rapper, and of course if you have the right financial advice. But is CJ really a homegrown organic artist? Fresh out the trenches of wherever? Let's explore this subject and determine if your man's is really an industry plant. Yeah, it was it was a nasty time, I would say. It was, it was spooky, you know. Um, the record had so much traction, it had so much attention. It had, you know, the labels talking, the buildings was like, you know, everybody was, you know, it was the hottest song. So um, what happened was I did the record, we put it out, we didn't realize there was a sample on it. Now imagine this, you are an industry exec, engineer and overall voice in the rap slash hip hop industry. You have started your career in or around the year 2002 at the Hit Factory, which you were under tutelage of many industry vets. You work with star-studded artists such as Lil' Kim, Tony Braxton, Mary Mary, Maxwell and Outkast. After this success, you take your talents to Sony Studios, where you are given the title of Senior Master Engineer and able to win six Grammys in many genres of music. The man I am speaking about is James Cruz. Many outside of the music industry may not know him by name. James Cruz is the uncle of the subject in this video CJ. In a Vlad TV interview where Cruz opened up about being done with the music industry before his nephew CJ played him a song called Whoopty. James explained that he knew the song would be a hit, and he added that he told CJ that he needed to put together more songs if he wanted his career to be a success. James then spoke about the song blowing up and labels calling, and he detailed why he decided to go with Warner. Did he say CJ chose Warner or himself? I digress my nigga James also spoke about personally paying $80,000 for an uncleared sample in the song, 
That song got Memo 600 and King Von's song Exposing Me removed from most platforms and he also hit back at critics saying that CJ got successful in the industry because James has so many connections from his own successful career. James explained that it's a blessing for CJ to have someone like him, and he credited CJ for being a superstar and a student of hip-hop. James also thanked CJ for helping him fall back in love with the music industry and showing him that he can help a lot of artists. Wow 80k for a sample, that's crazy even though the song blew up that's a lot of money and most artists on the come up probably wouldn't have that type of money for a sample clearance on a hit song. Obviously having an uncle with a net worth around $14 million and a history in the music industry would help you to get visible as his nephew. In my conclusion CJ is a clear industry plant, there is no clear way around it. I think that his problem started when his uncle started running his fucking mouth and admitted that he invested in CJ. Since then, he hasn't been as hot, shit he hasn't even had a song that has had the reach and popularity of Hopti. Damn hot one day, the next you cold as an old pot of grits on grandmama stove. As of January 2023 CJ released a lyric video of a song called Gangster, right now it's sitting at a paltry 54k in views on his official YouTube channel. I guess when the fans figure out the truth and question your come up and credibility the numbers will show. This is so official TV and this has been another segment of the industry plant. Thank you for watching if you digging the content hit the like button subscribe and turn on the notifications, we trying to bring y'all nothing but the hot shit.